All right, so let us start saving the changes to the actual disk. Now the problem is that we are going to, um, we do a lot of changes, like we change the text, we also change is completed from false to true and from, from, true, to, from true to false. And uh, we also, yeah, we also delete, we also add. So there'll be many times that we're going to have to write to the state, all right? So I don't want to have to copy paste the same function, write to the state, like here, save state, here, save state, here, save state, bullshit. I want to do it somewhere else. I'm gonna do it outside, all right? So I will say save state, and this, I'm gonna say uh, new to do's. You know what, save to do's is better. Save to do's. And here I'm gonna pass the new to do's because I'm not gonna save the whole state. I'm just gonna save the to do's object, which is the one I'm worried about, the one I wanna save. So new to do's is gonna be given by me, uh, given to me by the update to do, complete to do, uncomplete to do, delete to do, all that stuff, all the new to do's, all right, is what is gonna be given to me. So here on the um, save to do's, all I will do is I will say const, right? Save to do's. And I'm gonna make a function. I'm gonna call the function async storage. All right, that as you can see here, I imported it automatically because of uh, BS code. And I'm going to set an item, set item. And I'm gonna call this item to do's, all right? So this is the key, and now the value is going to be new to do's, okay? That's the, this is the logic of it, okay? So I'm gonna console log new to do's, just because I wanna see. And now let's use it, okay? So before I return the new state, I'm going to say this.save to do's, all right? And I wanna save the to do's, of the new state, for example, this is an update to do's, new state that to do's. And basically that's what I'm gonna do everywhere. So on update to do also, on complete to do, new state, yes, to do's, yes. On complete to do, same thing, new state, yeah, to do's, yep. Yeah. And delete to do, same thing, new state, new to do's, perfect. And now add to do also, new state that to do's. So that's what I'm doing, all right? I'm saving it there. So I'm gonna save, and ideally it should work. On my ideal land, it should work. So here, let's go. Now I'm just gonna add a to do, okay? I'm gonna add one, and it should, uh, if I add a to do, it should go to add to do, and it should execute save to do's, which is going to console log the new to do's, and it's going to try to save them, all right? so. La, 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 and I click acceptar and problem. Can't have, what? Oh, what an idiot. I'm expecting an error. I wasn't expecting that error. I just had to, the, the, just the, the typing was wrong. The uppercase was wrong. I was expecting an error, but I was expecting that error. Hello, pa, 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 pa. and now look at this. What the fuck? It just exit the whole thing. It crashed. Right, it crashed. The application crashed. You will say, why did it crash? What happened? What is the problem? Look at this, it's crashed like a motherfucker. So we need to exit it. Let's go. Boom, done. All right. Now this is a C, C++ extension, whatever. And the reason this crashed and the reason this happened is because we are trying to save an object into the um, async storage. And async storage is not made to save objects. It's not meant to save variables. Async storage, it's only made, made to save strings. So we have to convert, we have to turn our object into a string, okay? So let's, con let's just comment this and let's try to make it into a string, all right? So we'll say JSON, we're going to stringify the following object, new to do's. This is what we're going to do, all right? So I'm gonna come to Expo and device, open iOS simulator, opening. We'll wait for a bit. 
as you can see it crashed hard it even crashed expo it crashes hard you saw mm, what happened oh you see it crashed like a motherfucker so i'm gonna close this kawaii to do and i'm gonna open it again i just closed the simulator right and I i'm gonna open it in, i'm gonna open it again again fucking hell all right simulator again and i think we're good so as you can see this is a hardcore um because it really crashed the, the reason is because async storage doesn't save objects what we have is an object so we need to make it into a string all right and json is like a global variable that we can use a global function a global object that has a function called stringifies that we can we turn objects into strings so we can save them safely all right so this is starting i'm going to pause here and when this restarts again i'm going to see you there oh no it's done sorry come on man i'm gonna pause anyway it's gonna pause because this has to load and i will see you soon all righty so now i'm going to come here and say hello and look stringified it's not stringified i think it is a stringified json stringify need to do hell yeah that's stringified so this is not an object anymore as you can see here it's not an object anymore it's a string now it looks like this all right stringified awesome so this is something that i can i am able to save so i can save json stringify new to do's all right this should work let's refresh hello boom and now it is working it is saving the to do's no problems nothing wrong with this it is working let's refresh the app and we haven't loaded the to do's yet this is what we're going to do on the next video so i will see you there bye bye see ya